Oh, good job, Jacob. <laughs> he likes playing with power tools. You want to know about the bobcat? <laughs> That's like super cool. Alright, <laughs> is it day 58 and we're having some tacos out in Cache Creek at the Desert Hills taco stand. Tegan's hiding again. Grandma's enjoying. My tacos are gone. They were really good. You having fun, Jacob? We stopped in Savannah at a train place and Jacob has a new train. Kelly's caboose. Kelly's caboose, yeah. And a bunch of trucks, so. It's been a good afternoon. Jacob? Nice out. What did you find, Jake? Water. Yeah, a water wheel. Here we go. We are at Desert Hills Ranch. Beautiful flowers. We'll do the store first. Okay. Tegan, store first. Ooh, let's we'll see what's all up in here. We'll go to the animals after. A big wagon. Okay, we finished up our ice cream. Jacob's driving his new train all up in the dirt, so that won't work later. We're checking out, what's a beautiful spot. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Minus the dirt. And there's lots of old tractors for Jacob to hang out and check out. Because he likes tractors. Okay, we're back from Desert Hills and we've got lots of apricots and cherries and lots of blueberries for Jacob to eat. Um, and we're going to can. My mom is going to teach me how to do some canning. Yay! Okay, so we got to wash our jars and then you want to check the rims with clean hands. So I'm not touching them yet. <laughs> Make sure there's no cracks or anything. Chips. Chips in your jar lids because that's important and they have to be clean because obviously you're putting food in them and you don't want to get sick and then after what do you do you bake them bake them for an hour you bake them for an hour so step one clean stuff next step is hot soapy water wash all your rings yeah wash all your lids yeah and then dry these off a little bit so they don't get rusty at all while they're laying here yeah these will dry on their own yeah and then we're going to put these into boiling water before we actually use the and bacana. that's what activates be, the rubber that will soften the rubber soften so the rubber will actually seal okay right. good here we go prepping is on the way or using your fruit especially um any of the dirty dust that you're going to actually keep the skin on when you can it you want to make sure you soak it before and this is a pail of cold water with a cup of white vinegar okay you soak for at least 15 minutes after it's soaked for 15 minutes, you put it in a water bath and then you start sorting. And you want to look for cherries that have no marks where a little worm might have entered. Ew. Or any mushy spots. Worms. And then if if it's got a few dents on it and stuff, that's not as big a deal, but you weird. might want to keep that aside to eat, which is what I'm doing with it. Okay. But a perfect cherry is hard to come by. Like there you'll find it. There's This one's pretty good. Oh, nice. There's not many puckers or anything on it. Pull the stem and get it. You put it aside, and just keep going until you finish all your cherries. This is eight bags, so this is the whole box between these two batches. Oh, thunder! Yeah. 
That's a lot of cherries. We'll be eating canned cherries for some time. Okay, so over here in this pot. It's not hot, it's not too bad. Can I open it? Yeah. This is our syrup. And it has six liters of water and one cup of sugar. Right? Yeah. And that will go in with the cherries. So that'll be delicious. And in behind here, you've got the uh, lids steaming, boiling away. So, woohoo, we're making progress. Really, mom's making all the progress. I haven't done anything. <laughs> So you take your jar that's been heated and sterilized. And check for cracks. And check, again, for any cracks that might have happened while you were heating them and sterilizing them. Okay. Then you're going to just... Pop them in. Pop your cherries in with clean hands. Yeah, we've been washing cherries. Cherries that have been soaked and now are ready. And we left the pits in, right? Yes, we did. Okay. Pits are in. And then... Shake them down. Shake them down. You don't want to really go much beyond here. You can maybe stuff one more in there. Okay. And then, mm -hmm. all right. And then what? We got a ladle. Then we got a ladle. Actually, I use a measuring cup. Good call. I use this guy. Oh, let's see. Okay. Take. Put your syrup in. Hot. All right. So that's our sugar water mix. So then, does it just like cook the cherries while it's in there, kind of deal? No, no. You're gonna the canner's gonna do that job. Oh, the right? canner does that. <gasps> Yum. And you fill it all the way up to the top. So just much. this, just where you got one ring showing. You want to completely okay. cover your. You want to cover the fruit all the way. I knew that. Okay. Yeah. And then. Perfect. You can kind of jiggle your jar a little bit so you can Without release any air. Yeah, you know, you've got little air bubbles here and there. You can stick a knife down. Okay. Now we're getting air bubbles out. Here's an air. You cut Just one so open. You, you don't. Oh, that's okay. Okay. That's not a big deal. Okay, and then you're going to grab a lid out of the pot. Oh, yeah. Am I in your way? You're going to grab a lid. One lid. Not three. You don't want them all stuck together over there. Uh, yeah. I did layer them, but they really boil and they move. Your finger, run around, make sure, set your lid on. Ooh, it's tight. Baby. And it's ready to go in the canner. It's ready to go and in you the water keep bath. Moving until you okay. get enough to fill the canner. So you finish doing that first batch of cherries and I'll keep doing this. Okay. Thing. Our jars are full, and now we're gonna put them over in our canner, so the water bath. And so Grandma, ooh, she's got it with the, the tongs, and she puts them in there, you said they fit about eight? Yeah. Okay, does, it, does the water have to go over top of the lid of the jar? Yes, it will. Once but it will once you add in. all the jars in. Yeah. Okay. She's had lots of practice doing this. I don't wanna break a jar, I'm scared. <laughs> You'll get there. Oh yeah, see already the water's going over top. And then we put them in for what? You said 20 minutes? 20 minutes. Now all those bubbles coming out of there, that's air, that's is it not? Air. Yeah. Is that no, supposed to happen? Okay. No, that's no, good. That's fine. We're just moving things around in the can. Okay. We're good. That doesn't mean water's leaking into the no, cans. No, no. Okay, that's why you ask these questions, because yes. I would not know what's going on. How fun. Okay. Now Great. it's back to sorting cherries. Uh, we got one jar. What we're gonna what we're gonna do, and this is a good. Thing to just remember. Yeah. Ooh. Will he sit down? I think he will. Yeah. Okay. okay. Put the lid on and the timer's on for 20. Okay. Let's go through. Oh, yeah. I recognize that okay. smell. And we're going to put this jar to keep it hot until we're ready to put it in the canner. I just gotcha. boiled some water. Okay. So we're going to sit it in boiling water to keep the jar hot. Got you, because you don't want anything to crack, right? No, we don't want anything oh, to crack. Okay. And you can actually, once we load these other jars, once we get our, our cherries going, our, our juices, we've got lots left. Perfect. So we'll put a lid on that. Keep going. So we don't lose any of it. No evaporation. Here. Okay. 